Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is dispersion power penalty in single mode, long distance fiber optic communication systems. Most fiber optic systems are digital communication systems. In a digital communication system, we use bit error ratio to evaluate its signal quality. Bit error ratio is also called BRR. BRR is the number of bits received in error divided by the total number of bits transmitted in a given time t. In most long-distance telecom systems, a burr of 10 to the power of minus 12 is required. This means less than one error bit in every 10 to the power of 12 bits transmitted. Fiber dispersion causes pulse broadening. It also causes adjacent pulses to interfere one another, which is called intersymbol interference, ISI. So fiber dispersion increases a fiber optic link's bit error ratio. In order to maintain the same bit error ratio, more optical power needs to be transmitted by the laser transmitter. This increased optical power is called power penalty. This graph clearly shows this phenomenon. The y-axis is the bit error ratio. The x-axis is the received power. Two curves are shown. Blue curve has no dispersion. Red curve has dispersion. So if we want to maintain the same bit error ratio of 10 to the power of minus 9, additional power is needed, which is about 2 dB. Then how do we measure dispersion power penalty? First, we set up the bit error ratio measurement equipment with no fiber dispersion. It has a digital pattern generator, the optical transmitter, low back reflection optical attenuator, the optical receiver, the bit error ratio test set, and the optical power meter. All fibers in this setup are short length, so their dispersion effect can be omitted. We decrease the received optical power by increasing attenuation with the attenuator and monitor the bit error ratio detected by the Burr test set. You can print out the curve, which is bit error ratio versus received optical power curve. This curve is a blue curve, as we previously discussed. This blue curve has no dispersion. Now, we insert the long-distance, single-mode fiber under test into the link. Again, we adjust the attenuator to print out another bit error ratio versus received optic power curve. This curve is a red curve as we previously discussed. This red curve has fiber dispersion. Now we can check the dispersion power penalty by comparing these two curves as shown in the bottom left picture. So there you have it. You can visit fo4sale.com for more fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.